good morning, or I should say, good afternoon. No, oh wait, I have my sunglasses on, that's rude. Hi. So I will say, why am I driving in the afternoon and not the morning? Well, because my baby is sick. And some of you might know that's like the worst feeling, right? When your child's sick, especially a little baby that can't even communicate. And there's only so much you can do. And right now I took yesterday off and at this very moment, I'm gonna deviate from business, but it's all related. I'm gonna talk about mom guilt and work guilt as a working mom. And I don't know if you can relate, but right now I am having this like battle within my head, which constantly happens, but today it's just like super amplified of mom guilt and work guilt. So mom guilt, the obvious is Lee is still a little sick. And I took yesterday off and I was like, should I take today off too? and be with him and part of the extreme guilt is I am still nursing I am breastfeeding and for those that don't know is that um, breast milk is extremely beneficial for those like when you're sick so I am the essentially the only one that can give him that although I do have pump milk so he is still getting breast milk and then on the flip side, my work guilt is I am falling behind in work every day that I'm not at work. I'm falling behind. No one's taking over my tasks. There's no delegating. And it's just piling up and I am responsible for those no matter if I'm there or I'm not there. So one day off is one thing, but two days in a row puts me really behind. So I'm like stressed out about that. And then also financially, I'm out of sick days. I don't know about you, but before having kids, I had, I never used my sick days. I think I like, you're allocated 10 sick days and it'd be the end of the year and I'd use like two, two sick days. I'd be like, whoa, I didn't use any of them. But now, ask me how many sick days I have now. Zero. <laughs> I mean, especially between two kids. And then I don't even, the funny thing is I don't even take sick days when I'm sick anymore because I'm saving them up because I know I'm going to have to be home when either Tegan or Lee are sick. And right now I have zero sick days. So what happens is when I'm out of sick days, it eats into my vacation or unpaid time. So essentially every time I take off now is also financial financially money out of my pocket so I can actually put a number which is awful a dollar sign against like well if I take off today that's a couple hundred dollars out of the paycheck and out of my pocket and I'm just like oh my god so and then I had this battle this morning like do I stay home you can tell I'm actually sick right now I'm not even putting that into a factor but should I stay home with baby Lee and be the mom or do I go into work and actually get my work done and I was like I don't know what to do and you know my husband who's actually there now with baby Lee so my compromise is I spent the morning with Lee and then my husband came in to kind of tag team out so he can spend the afternoon with him and I'm going into work in the afternoon <laughs> Still don't feel super confident in this decision, but it was like, see, this is still my problem of trying to get do it all, right? I'm just like, oh, I got it. If I do a little bit with baby Lee in the morning and then get to work in the afternoon and hustle and get my work done, I did it all. I got it all accomplished. Mom guilt checked off that's out of the way and work guilt. But the issue is, I don't think that's really going to work out. It's kind of like that same thing where you're just doing each thing kind of like half-assed. And at the end of the day, I don't know. I'm going to feel like that. I'm going to feel like, you know, I didn't stay long enough with my baby. And then I didn't quite get enough done at work. And this is why this journey is going to help me in that I won't have to basically compromise. So 
in my in my work in my working for myself I apologize I'm sorry but working for myself what's gonna happen is um, baby Louise will be sick and of course I'll still have to get work done but since I have flexible t hours and my time is very flexible and I can do my work when I decide and when I want where and when then it's gonna run like this in my mind <laughs> during the day today dedicate my entire focus to baby Lee just being with him and nursing him and then of course like when he's napping and whatnot I can jump on the computer or do whatever and get my work done but more importantly I could allocate that time let's say in the evening after the kids go to bed instead of maybe that downtime I set aside for reading or watching TV or whatnot I'll be like okay tonight I'm gonna work instead and I'd have that ability to do that. Sounds pretty good, right? Yeah. So, let's do it. Motivation. And that's it. So, that's my big resolution on how to solve the mom guilt versus work guilt. And that's it. Easy, right? <laughs> of course, other things will follow. But, let's do it. Okay. Talk to you guys later. Bye.